Hey everyone, welcome to the Head and the Heart pre-recorded live stream. Uh, today, I just wanted to share some words from a client that I've worked with closely over the last few weeks. Now, Logan is a young man who came to me feeling um, very unconfident in his abilities to move on from his past relationship. And he was seeking some guidance after he'd been hurting from a really traumatic breakup that ended almost a full year ago. So struggling with his own self-confidence on such a personal level that he felt it was beginning to actually stunt his own growth and his personal development. So upon inviting him into the program that I offer, my one-on-one -on -one mentorship, I knew this was going to be challenging because he was dealing with confidence that he'd had, you know, he, he had a lot of questions coming into this um, program to see if it was a good fit, whether or not he'd get results, whether he could afford it. And so I want to share from his perspective what that process was like for him and what kind of results he's been getting just after a few of our sessions together. So we're going to watch the video interview and then I'm going to share a bit about, um, you know, where I'm at with the program and what that looks like uh, for you guys, if you're interested. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what I desperately needed. And what, what has it done for your confidence? It's definitely put things in perspective for me. I know I have things to work on and I know how to work on them now, instead of just being a blank canvas of the unknown of what is confidence versus what isn't. And, you know, taking those moments of confidence and really understanding, you know, really understanding them and to, you know, try to be the best version of you. In, in the time that we've worked together, what do you feel has been one of the most profound shifts in the way you think about the relationship with yourself? I think it's very important. It's mm -hmm. if you don't put the work in, then it, it would be very hard for you to find results. Do you have anything else you'd like to tell people who uh, may be thinking and enrolling on this one-on-one? -on -one? If you want to start putting yourself first, then you should start doing it. It's, it's mm -hmm. scary and it's hard and it's daunting and it's confusing and it's frustrating and it's all the negative emotions you can possibly find. But if you start really deeping, you know, diving deep into who you are as an individual, then you, you'll find that you're a lot more, the, you know, the beautiful, more individual than you thought you would be. And, you know, it's hard to accept sometimes that you are a kind, nice individual without that sort of third party help. What's been the most rewarding thing for you uh, working together thus far? Learning to love myself. I think, you know, I think that insight into, you know, diving into that insight is, is something that's very important. And, you know, I'm a big believer in before one must learn, learn to love another individual, one must learn to love themselves. Because it's very hard to love another individual if you don't truly love yourself. And, you know, things like, things like this are very important. I think how much you challenge me. I think, I think that's a very rewarding thing because, you know, that, that shows me that you care and that it's, you know, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. And, you know, I, I think that's the most rewarding part because nothing in life is really supposed to be easy. The best, the best things in life are supposed to be hard. What would you tell people who might be on the fence with uh, working? Um, through their breakup and wanting to turn it into a breakthrough. It's it's a lot less about the breakup and more about, you know, who you are. Um, I think it's very important, you know, learning to love yourself and respect yourself is a very important thing. Um, you know, this, you know, first couple sessions were, you know, tough because um, you really go into the details and you know, dissecting who you are as a person is, you know, tough for, you know, some people, especially if you have something very dramatic that just happened to you. But you doing this is the most important thing that you'll do because that's when you start to care about yourself. And putting yourself mm -hmm. first is the most important thing. The last question for you, what are you looking most forward to in your future? I'm, I'm looking very forward to this journey. That I'm that I'm that I've started going on, and I think it's a very important journey that I've needed to start it. 
I think I should have started a long time ago, but I have to learn to just love myself. Mm. Yeah. So more, what I actually have a PS question. Yeah. What were what were some of the things you were doubting uh, about this program, uh, but that perhaps you feel differently about now? Um, I didn't really have any doubts. I thought it was a scam. To be very honest with you. I'll be <laughs> very very honest with you. You you did you're the second thing you said is this real? <laughs> like I I I thought it was a scam. Yeah. Walk walk us through that process that you went through like why did you commit to yourself why did you make the investment it's it's you know it, it's you know the investment is you you know you know you, you should you know it's it's easy to make an investment in you know f physical things but when you make an investment in yourself that's a very important thing and you know you have to take that very seriously and if you don't, then it's, you know, it becomes a little dubious, but making the investment in yourself is a very important investment because it's yourself. That's who you are because it's you, you know, it's easy to put the investment in bad things, but when you start putting the investment in good things, ironically, it becomes harder to accept. Funny how that works out, but learning to accept is the most important thing. Mm -hmm one of the most important things and what about our work together has made it worth it for you i mean it's 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 op it's opened my eyes to who i can become so i really enjoyed working with logan personally because i know what it's like to feel that lack of self-worth and confidence after a breakup and how we show up in the world uh, not only for ourselves but truly for another and how we relate and it truly comes down to having that confidence on so many levels. And the three levels that Logan and I have worked on are the surface level of confidence, the lifestyle confidence, and core confidence. And these are three crucial pillars in confidence um, for your personal development and your personal power that within the program, we go deep into those. And in combination with the other three pillars that I mentioned in the core beliefs video, included in the guide section, uh, of this Facebook group, this is where the transformation truly happens. Now, personally, as, as someone who used to often struggle with self-confidence himself in the past, um, and someone who has worked with a lot of people with the same issue, the main reason is the feeling, it always comes back to self-worth, right? And worthlessness. After a breakup, if you get dumped on the other side, uh, you know, from another, you feel like you don't have that deservingness. You deserve less, and on the other side, the other person deserves better. So this leads you to believe that you are not enough, and this eventually results in losing your confidence. And because we wonder what's wrong with us, you know, we what we did to make this person no longer want to be with us, we feel rejected, unwanted, and a lot of powerful emotions can follow a breakup with someone we loved and respected, but we have to remember that there really is no right or wrong answer to breakups. It's the, in the vast majority of cases, it's just a matter of preference. And because, you know, one, because what one partner loves will very often drive another person absolutely crazy. You know, for example, one person considers you distant and unavailable, but the next one finds you, you give them the room that they need. Uh, to not feel trapped or your ex thought you didn't ever want to go out and you were antisocial, but then your next partner loves nothing more than a quiet night at home watching movies with just you. So what one person saw as a negative worth breaking up for, another will see as an attribute. And the real challenge in any relationship when it comes to relating is simply finding someone who loves you for you, right? So that aha moment in any breakup is realizing that in the vast majority of cases, there was nothing wrong with us. We just had a bad fit. And now our challenge is to take that knowledge and find a better fit, not for ourselves, but for another person. And also learn in these in-between moments how we can render ourselves more empowered, more confident, uh, get back our self-worth, our deservingness because a breakup can truly be turned into a breakthrough when we acknowledge um, the things that we might have been holding on to in terms of like how we're ego driven, 
um, you know, getting feedback is such an opportunity to, to grow into a better, stronger, wiser version of yourself. So this is why it's never a good idea to pretend to be someone else and try to win someone, right? People should proudly be who they are and let the chips fall where they may. So it's the first requirement to finding true and lasting love. So I wanted to share with you guys a glimpse into the transformation that Logan went through, a transformation that is possible for you as well when you take that leap in believing in yourself and understand that it's okay to feel lost and hurt after a breakup, but also that it's an opportunity for the kind of personal development that allows you to become a more lovable and a more confident individual. And if you take the steps towards getting support on this, it can nurture that transformation faster and more effectively. And one of my favorite quotes is coaching allows men and women to grow faster by leveraging the guidance of an expert with the perspective, experience, and know-how to break through limiting beliefs and propel forward into the life of one that one wants to get faster. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, pre-recorded live stream. If you have any questions, you can still pop it in the comment. I'll 100% be able to answer them. If you have topics you want me to share on future live streams, feel free to do that. Stories you'd like to share, anything you need support on, I am here within the realm of love and relationships and turning your breakup into a breakthrough. So thanks for being with me, guys. Until next time.